outside of Sisters in the Deschutes National Forest. It's in the Three Creeks Wilderness area. I guess you got a pickup stuck in the snow. Sounds like it's going to be a super easy one. He's only got to get pulled, I guess, a few feet to the gravel road. So we might not even have to use four-wheel drive or hit the snow. But we'll figure that out when we get there. We've got about an hour and a half drive to get up there. So let's get rolling. There goes the FedEx man dropping off another load of Jeep parts. He goes to my house a lot. Those mountains are where we're headed. Actually to the base of that main big one right there. Those are the three sisters. In the town of Sisters. This is where we pull off the main road and head up into the woods. So, grabbing some fuel, then we'll run inside and get some snacks and supplies for the trip and go see what we find up the mountain. Well, we have officially entered the Deschutes National Forest. Now the roads start to get smaller and got another half hour, it looks like, till we get to them. And you like my super fancy in dash navigation? Nothing but the best here at Cascade Heavy Rescue. Okay, we're on the dirt and it is super washboard and potholes, so we're gonna stop and let the air out of the tires. Jesus Christ. Jeez, that is ridiculous. So I upgraded tire deflators to the automatic ones. I actually used to have a set of these, and I think when I sold my old Jeep Willys, I, I accidentally left them on it. So finally got another set. All right, since these ones are automatic, we can get the Jeep, take off, and they'll stop when they're done. The only problem with that is I just set these this morning and didn't test them to make sure I did it right. So they'll either stop when they're supposed to or I'll have four flat tires here in a little bit. We'll see. But I forgot to mention, I don't have a spare. Well, I do, but it's at home, so if the tires go flat, I'm kind of screwed. All right, tire pressure is down. Massive difference in how it feels and sounds. Now instead of sounding like a 30-year-old Jeep Cherokee, it sounds like a 15-year-old Jeep Cherokee. This is the part where we do that super dramatic cinematic nature shot, whatever it's called. I don't know, it'll look cool, watch. <laughs> that was cool can you beat that no no office is better than this okay now I just got to get back down this super steep hill without falling on my butt but at least if I fall down the mountain and die I die with that view that ain't so bad let's go a little farther so it looks like we do get to play in a little snow. Not much, but a little bit. Shouldn't be too far away now. So we are just about at 5,000 feet elevation. Got into quite a bit of snow. So I think we're only about a half a mile away. I don't think it's gonna get too much worse before we get there.
pick a better place to get stuck. Look at these views. I would not be mad about getting stranded here for a little bit. <laughs> it's always that that little bit more where, where most of the people get stuck is turning around. It's they decide like, no, nope, this is too much. I should definitely not go out here. And then they decide to turn around and that's when they get stuck. Most people. <laughs> that would have been the real tragedy. Uh, yeah, not yet though. Okay, good. Well, you want to hop in and uh, throw it in neutral? Yeah, just parking brake off and in neutral, and I don't think it's going to take too much. The remote turned on. There it goes. Go ahead and just put it in reverse, but don't get any throttle. Give a little throttle. A little more. There you go. Yeah, now just leave it full. Just had to break free right there. Okay. Go ahead and keep coming back. Hold on just a sec, let me move that rope. Okay, come on back. That's good. Hey, you're right, just three feet of pull. Okay. I don't know. I don't get a circle yeah. right here, Colin. I'm just gonna back up. I would say in case you tell me. Uh so we'll see that wet spot down there? Uh-huh. Back up just past that. There's like a little wide turn out there. I'd back up right there and then turn around is probably your best bet. Thanks, Mingo. And then I will make sure are you going all the way back down to sisters? Yeah. Okay, I'll make sure you get out all clear. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, super easy little winch out. Oh, parking brake. Super easy little winch out. Just had to pull them back like two, three feet, and they were free. And now we're all going to get turned around and head back down. They're up here to go skiing. They're scouting out. Tomorrow they're going to climb to the top of that mountain and ski down because they have a lot more ambition than I do. It is nice up here. Make sure they get spun around. Oh, there they are. Sorry, I'm horrible at this camera. It's a gimbal, so it kind of does its own thing. And I kind of don't know what I'm doing. So between the two of those factors, it's a miracle that I get anything on film. Oh, let's put it back in. Four high. Let's roll. Okay, we're past all the, the major snow drifts, so letting them take off up ahead of me and get going because. All right, we made it back to town and off the mountain. Town's right there. So, as you can see, we're airing up the tires. And also, as you can see, if I flip this thing there, there's no air tank here now. So they took the air tank and mounted it in the back. Much easier than dragging it in and out. On the back side here, there's just a 
little bracket I made that bolts into the original spare tire mount. So the only thing I gotta change is this coil hose. Seems like it'd be a good idea, but it super sucks and I hate it, so it just tangles up on itself and catches on everything. So gotta get rid of that and get some just normal air hose. But other than that, having it mounted up is really nice and makes it really easy. So we're gonna get this aired up and head for home. Well, we got the tires aired up. Back into town, stopped at the little country store. Got chocolate milk for the drive home. Got about an hour drive back, so gonna head that way and as long as nothing else weird happens that's it and we will see you next time actually we'll see you you will see me next time because that's how cameras work it's only the one way